Hi guys, uh, we've got quite the treat today. We have a 2011 Audi Q5 2.0-liter turbo. Uh, this video here will be part two. Um, this is one where we deal with the uh, minimum oil level light on. <laughs> oh, it's a treat. It's something special, that's for sure. Uh, I have part one where I, the vehicle came in and it was running really badly, had a really bad misfire. We go over that in part one, uh, as well as a few other things. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I'd encourage you to watch it. Uh, put a link up here. Um, one of the big takeaways from that, if you're not super familiar with these Volkswagen engines, if you come across a, a Volkswagen engine like this two liter and you see a valve cover that is metal and it's got lots of fasteners along it, uh, <laughs> that's not a normal valve cover. Do not take it off. Uh, that is the camshaft retainer. It's got the caps built into it. If you pop that off, yeah, everything's gonna go spoing. You're not gonna be in it for a good day. If you look up the, the labor time on those, you, you get about eight hours. So don't take those off unless you really know what you're doing. They do leak and they're tempting or you know, you're chasing a misfire. You wanna look at the lobes, yada, 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 all that sort of stuff. Yeah, don't take those off. Um, but anyways, this one here, uh, it's got the minimum oil level light on. You know, you put the key in, you, you first fire it up and it says, warning low oil, uh, top up at a liter. Uh, this particular vehicle is old enough that it does have a dipstick. Some of the newer ones, they just, they have the tube, but they don't have an actual stick in there and they just rely on the oil level sensor. Um, so looking at this one here, I thought it was kind of weird. I, I grabbed the scan tool and I looked at the scan tool um, and I got some data parameters. One of them said that the oil threshold, they gave you the, the reading for what the threshold was for dinging that light on. And then the other one was what the actual reading is. And the actual reading was above the threshold. So the engine computer knew that the oil level was good. Sure enough, you check on it, you pull the stick and it's, it's right at um, right at max. Uh, so what could it be? We talked to the customer and it's kind of a, kind of a weird issue. Um, and you know what they said, just, I know it's weird, but try putting an oil level sensor in there. Okay, fine, sure, we'll do that. It needs an oil change anyways. Um, so we pull it in there, no surprise, it's still got the same um, light on. Uh, and then <laughs> do some Google searching and wow, um, I find something and you know what, it just seems so out to lunch. But hey, figured to give it a shot. So let me carry on with that. Okay, so this would be weirder than all heck, but supposedly the contact switches in these way down there, uh, when they go, they can cause that stupid um, warning light to come on for the engine oil. Weird. Um, but you know what? I'll give it a shot because uh, when we open the hood, the light doesn't come on in the in the dash. No warnings come on. And there's also doing some weird um, issues with the locking. So, uh, what the heck? We'll give it a shot. It's just, we'll flip you upside down, just the three Torx screws there. And we got these. Oh, I don't know what size it is. If any of you want to know, hopefully I don't drop this. Uh, that feels like it. Um, 30. So, well, focus. I uh, will swap these out. Look at that. Volkswagen. Swap these out. <laughs> See if the light goes away. Because that would be weird, but again, yeah. Okay, so to get the connector portion that's this end here um it plugs in right right about there here's the other end of the connector but it clips into there i did have to pop these trips uh, trips trim clips up so i can pull this up so i can fish that out from there and then uh i'll have to replace those clips uh some in the shop because um, they uh fell off the inner Come on, the insert stuff. And holy smokes, these bolts are long. Huh. I thought it would be really quick and easy and I just grabbed a ratchet. Really should have grabbed the electric ratchet, but what can you do? So then on this guy here, um, where the cable clips in, we'll just pry those back 
and then we will pull it out of that uh, out of that little keeper there. Um, so let me. I'm gonna need two hands for that. So I'll just get a little pocket screwdriver in there, pop those back, and I'll show you how it's hooked in. All right. Sorry, I wasn't able to kind of show you that. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a bugger. Uh, ended up having to use the pick to hook in behind there, and that worked. And then um, well, I don't know if I'll do this with one hand as well. But uh, yeah, this guy just comes out. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna need two hands for this, but you get the idea. Okay, and that's what the hook looks like. Um, it actually, at this point, it just kind of twisted out. Um, so then we'll hook it into the new one and route the wire underneath this trim, plug it in, and see if that light goes out. Okay, so when you get that hooked in, don't forget to route the wire through that little tab and then through that channel. Uh, otherwise, it'll get caught up and then we can clip it back in. Okay, so it is a bit of a pain in the butt, but you do try and line up the dirt marks. Try to get as close as possible to make sure that your latch is level and don't forget to plug in the connector. Okay, so moment of truth. Put it on. See what kind of comes up. Yeah, we know about that. Anything about oil? Anything? No. Yeah! What the hell, Volkswagen? It doesn't say anything about adding oil. What the heck is that? When I saw people talking about this online, uh, come on, shut up. I saw people talk about this online. I'm like, yeah, right. Okay, fired up. Wow. 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 I think that's it. Holy crap. That's something special. And the route that we opted for this, just to try and uh, do a Hail Mary, is we just changed the one coil, put some new plugs in there, did an oil change. The customer for the oil light, um, they did just want to put a new level sensor in there, just in case that was the fix. It wasn't. Uh, I kind of advised them it probably wasn't because the scan tool was reading properly. But, uh, yeah, weird. Um, this is a fix. We're highly going to recommend doing the intake decarbonization and throwing one of those PCV uh, valves in there, those little diaphragms, but, um, wow. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't you know it. And the other thing too that's weird is the, uh, the lights and the beeps now work when you hit the lock and the unlock, and they weren't doing that before. Um, so yeah, all I gotta do is put a couple trim clips in there, and this thing is good to be shipped. Huh, that's a, that's a different one. Okay, so here's our hood latch switch. And to me, this made zero sense. This is a two wire, uh, just a contact switch. So how the heck could this back feed anything or cause any kind of issue like this? Doesn't make any sense. You know, if we had a three wire sensor, sure, maybe the, the ground could be taking out the reference or something, who knows, whatever. But how could this cause the oil level light to stay on unless it's done intentionally so I figured it has got to be a TSB and wouldn't you know it there is so we got low oil level message on drivers display uh, I apologize if the lighting's not fantastic can I do that is that any better eh, probably not so we scroll down a little bit and it says uh, <laughs> technical background um, this is just so out to lunch, but sure. The hood must be open for at least 30 seconds for a reset of this message to be performed. This message is not reset in the DIS slash MMI because the hood has not been recognized as being opened 
due to an inoperative hood contact switch. So, and then it talks about the kind of switch and sort of uh, what you do and all that sort of stuff. It's got the write up. So, what does that mean? So, here's the part that I find funny about all this. Um, <laughs> this is such uh, a Volkswagen thing, such a German automobile engineering thing. You got your oil level sensor. At some point, this registers a low oil condition. So, how do you rectify that? The only way you rectify that is by adding engine oil. How do you add engine oil? The only way you can do that is by opening the hood. So this guy right here has to send a signal to the computer to let it know that yes, you did in fact open the hood for a reasonable amount of time to, to top up the oil. No matter that this thing here, this level sensor could for days, weeks, months tell you that yes, the level is good. If it didn't see this, it doesn't care about this. So the bottom line is it trusts this drivers, it's humans, so little that it doesn't care about this. If you don't open that hood, then you're not worthy of driving the vehicle, is this line of thinking. Oh, I love it. Um, what can you do? You know what, if you didn't have TSBs, if you didn't have Google, how the heck would you figure this out? You wouldn't. Probably be getting a cluster, programming all sorts of things, but it didn't. Thankfully to Google and the TSB, I guess. Um, so, I wanted to share that. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.